In this video, we will continue with trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 179 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to focus in this video to the three new functions, the reciprocal functions. And that is the cosecant, secant and cotangent ratios. Okay, there are three more trigonometric ratios, which are the reciprocals of the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios. For any angle theta, the trigonometric ratios of the cosecant, secant, and cotangent are defined as follows. Cosecant. Cosec. Actually, we, we usually call, call it just the cosec function. So, cosec theta is 1 over sin. That's why it's the reciprocal. Now, where, the, where sin would have been, I'll show you here, sin would have been opposite over hypotenuse. Now it's hypotenuse over opposite. Okay, it's the reverse. Okay, uh, sec, sec is 1 over cos. So cos was Adjacent over hypotenuse, now it's hypotenuse over adjacent. I'll show you now another thing. Cot uh, is 1 over tan, so um, with tan, tan was opposite over adjacent, now it's adjacent over opposite. Okay, can I show you how to remember this? You always look at the third letter. I think I'm going to say it also later on. So, this means, if I say cosec, is the reverse of sin. Sec is the reverse of cos. And cot is the reverse of tan. So always focus on that third and that will tell you. Note, sec is indefined for x is equal to zero and cot, cot theta and cosec theta are indefined, uh, undefined for y is equal to zero. Okay, so as soon so as soon as I find the opposite or the adjacent or the opposite, if that becomes zero, do you follow? So as soon as y or x becomes zero, then it's undefined because you cannot divide by zero. The signs of these ratios also follow exactly those of the reciprocals. For example, cot is a positive when tan is positive. When theta lies on the first or the third quadrant, meaning um, it's referring to the cost diagram. That means sin is positive here as well as what is the cosec. Remember, third one. As well as cot, third one, as well as sec, third one. So this too, so it follows the same rules. That's what it's saying. The six trigonometry ratios, okay, and, and I'll just show you there. It's, it's, if you look at this one, and this one, you see, it's just swapped around. Um, this one, the same. This one, the same. So can you see this two is friends? You see? Uh, do you see this two is friends? Do you see this two is friends? Okay. Now to pairs of reciprocals. Let's move on. Now we're just going to start using it. I'm going to make it a bit bigger, that you see better. Okay, there it is. Uh, Oh, let's just get it. Without a calculator, determine the value of the six trigonometric ratios. Angle P, I give you P. Okay, so if I say this, and I uh, for and I say it's negative seven and twenty-four. So it's negative seven and twenty-four. There's the point. That's negative seven twenty-four. How do I get R? I use Pythagoras theorem. This square plus this square, and I take the square root, and I get twenty-five. But because uh, in this case, I say plus, but because R is always positive. It must be plus minus, but R is always, hypotenuse is always positive, so this will just be 25. And I fill it in. And now I just play around. So it's always good to start with sin. So what is sin? Sin, okay, this is my angle, opposite over hypotenuse. So what will, do you see the third letter? Cosec B, just... Just swap it around, 25 over 24. Cos adjacent over hypotenuse. 
Okay, and then what will set be? Swap it around and turn. Opposite over adjacent, so cot is adjacent over opposite. The third letter helps you to remember reciprocal of which the function it represents, as I showed you there. Okay, that's an easy way to remember. Just to get used to these functions, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, let's just do it like that. Give you a little bit that you see. Okay, determine the value of the six. I think I'm just going to give you one. And I think I like, uh, I like number D. So let's just do number D. And I want you to write all six down. Okay, and again, as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. A little bit smaller that we can just see. Okay. So always make a sketch. That will always be a good starting point. Mm. Just want to first write D, and don't forget it's one and negative square root. Okay, this is your coordinate point. Don't forget that also. Okay, so first let's just make this sketch. Now, if it's 1 and negative 3, can you see? So it's in this quadrant. Can you see there? So according to the coordinate, positive, negative. So say that coordinate is there. And that is 1 and negative square root 3. So if I take my line... Okay, uh, now, now, let's just think, think of X and Y, remember? So, this will indicate, can I just show you? This is my X, do you agree? That's 1. That's my, that's my Y, negative, square root 3. And I must work out this one. But I can work it out with Pythagoras theorem. So, uh, this is the long one I want. So if I want to say the hypotenuse, let's call it the hypotenuse, and it's plus minus, and it's the square root of 1 squared plus negative square root 3 squared. That's plus minus 1, and if I, a square root times a square root, in a negative times a negative, it's positive 3. So it's plus minus 4, so it's plus minus 2. Now, we remember, the hypotenuse is always bigger than, so hypotenuse bigger than zero, so therefore positive two. So this one is then two. Okay, and now I can start with the six. Just move it up. Again, I'm going to just write it in that order. I start with sin, sin of um, angle, that was, okay, that was, just go that you just see there. I want you just to see it was P O Q. Uh, so let's just make uh, to show you this was P, e, this was O, and this was Q. So, and this is the angle representing so angle return P O Q. Okay, so sin is. Opposite of a hypotenuse, the negative square root 3 over 2. Okay, and now I prefer doing this reverse. What is the reverse of sin? Just get the pen correct. Oh, sick. Ah, theta. Ah, no, 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 it's not necessary for theta. Angle P O Q because I have an angle. It's just the opposite. So it's 2 over negative square root 3. Okay, and then, I, that's my sin. Do you see my third letter is S? So let's just go for cos, angle P, O, Q. What is cos? It's adjacent over pi bottom so it's very nice. It's just a half. And can you see the cos diagram? So the only one that will be positive here is supposed to be cos. Let's see if it's true as well as his reverse or his reciprocal and that's sec angle p of q and that's 2 over 1 and that's actually just 2. Okay, and then I go to my last one and that one is supposed to work out negative and let's just see. 
So let's make it 10. And we'll P O U. Now what is 10? 10. Let's just move this away. This a little bit down. 10. 10 is opposite over adjacent. So it's negative square root 3 over 1, which is just negative square root 3. Can you see it's negative? According to your cost diagram. And then cot angle P O Q. And that, now this is actually easy if it was like that, because then you can see the reverse very nice. Okay, and that's my final answer. That's how I do it. That's how the functions, the new three functions is now 